The mystery seems to be growing deeper in the murder of a man in his home in Marion County last week. Those who knew the victim are in shock. TV20's Emma Delamo met with some of his friends who explained why they recall him as the kindest soul. He was so great to the community and a lot of people loved him. It's a murder mystery in Marion County. 59 year old Timothy Smith was found dead inside a home in Citrus Park along Southeast 40th Street Road last Saturday. Deputies with the Marion County Sheriff's Office were responding to a well being check. They found Smith's body and will only say he had been violently killed. Detectives say Smith was last seen leaving work three days prior. I think we're more in shock right now until we actually see what's actually happened to our friend. Diane Thomason worked with Smith at the Ocala Metro Chamber and Economic Partnership. He was an amazing person and is a great, um, oh gosh, connector. She remembers Smith as having the kindest personality. If you're having a bad day or something like that, he sometimes kind of knows this and you get this amazing text from him and I'll just let you know, hey, I'm just thinking about you and just want to let you know that you're loved today. In fact, Smith's kindness is the first thing people remember about him. Everyone loved Tim. Uh, Tim was one of the truly nicest people. Kevin Sheely knew Smith for several years. He really wanted to listen. He wanted to hear what was going on with you, what was going on with your business. And people so appreciated that about Tim is that he was, you know, sincerely interested in listening and hearing what was going on. Smith's friends are in shock something like this could happen to him. They want their questions to finally get answers. Officials with the Marion County Sheriff's Office are still looking for a bunch of answers. If you know anything that might be able to help them with this investigation, we have information on how you can reach out on our website, WCJB.com. Reporting in Ocala, Emma Delamo, TV 20 News.